This episode of The Casual is brought to you in part by Squarespace. For all your website needs, Squarespace delivers it in an all-around package to help you build a beautiful, integrated online presence. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Reggie Casual, entering into 2021. I mean, we're just gonna go ahead and throw 2020 out the window, but this episode of The Casual is gonna get you prepared for 2021, especially if you are into the business side of making your own label in the future. Now we're gonna go deeper into this as we continue to go on, but I'm gonna give you five simple ways for you to be a better fashion designer. So with that said, I'm your boy Reggie Casual. I think I already said that. Intro. Starting with number one, the very first thing to be a better fashion designer is really just, these are really just life things anyway. But number one, copy, right? You're gonna have to copy. You're gonna have to copy a whole bunch. Now that doesn't mean plagiarize. I think a lot of people, particularly in street fashion, or I should say streetwear, the streetwear community, they view copying as some sort of like taboo thing. But copying is what we've done throughout time immemorial. In fashion, trends is just the act of people, everybody copying each other. Copying allows you to learn techniques that you otherwise would not have learned if you try to do them on your own. In fact, when you're learning techniques, you're learning how to copy somebody's technique. You have to copy. Everybody does it. Basketball players, musicians, rappers. But the key to it is, is learning how to take those techniques take those things that you've learned from everybody else and put that into what you do. That's why you have people who work under individuals. We wouldn't have Yi Saint Laurent if we didn't have Christian Dior. We wouldn't have Jun Takahashi if we didn't have Rei Kawakubo and Margiela. I mean, we wouldn't have half the designers in Japan if we didn't have Yoji Yamamoto. So you have to learn how to embrace copying, but also learning how to hone those skills that you learn from copying, not to put it out as your own, but to hone those skills so you can focus and create your own thing from those influences. All right, so second thing, let's go ahead and zip through these. Second thing is to get out of your head, right? If you are creative, I know how you are. You are in your head 99% of the time. In fact, you may pump off one idea and then as you're going through that idea, you think of something else and then you think of something else, then you get into this rabbit hole, you Alice in Wonderland and you don't even know where you're at. You don't even know where you started. But my suggestion to you, as a person who was trained to do this, right, in school, as a designer. Put your stuff on paper. Put your stuff in physical form. If you can't draw, if you can't illustrate, if you can't use Photoshop or whatever, write down the words. That's why, you know, when we did the how to start a brand, I said, write 20 words down, write 20 questions, why, and then write 20 answers, research 20 answers. The reason why I said that is because everybody can write stuff down. Not everybody can draw, not everybody can use certain softwares, but everybody that I know can write. It really is to put your ideas in a physical format so you will be able to adjust and do number three, which is, we're gonna go right into it, to plan. Everybody has to plan ahead. That's why you should be writing down words, power words, you know, influences. You should be drawing sketches, doodles, whatever. You should be learning how to use certain programs, all of that, because what it's gonna do is going to help you do these things a lot faster. This process of, you know, copying and learning how to take what's in your head and planning accordingly. This is so important for you to learn. Learn how to put things, all of your ideas, as soon as you come up with an idea, get out of your head, be like, okay, I wanna do this thing. Put it into a physical form. Preferably, I say to draw it out or to write it out. So you can plan exactly how you're going to do that thing. Now there's a lot more to cover. Actually, there's only two more to cover. But before we do that, we're talking about planning. Let's get in a word from our sponsor, Squarespace. They're all about planning and doing it fast and actually give you a template to do it. So uh, let's listen to them real quick. In the fashion industry, the competition is fierce and your presentation has to look solid from jump. That's where Squarespace comes in. Beautifully designed templates, easy to use web building tools and social integration make Squarespace the perfect choice for the budding entrepreneur or even the savvy professional. Plus, by using our link squarespace.com slash the casual, you could save 10% when you start. So get that business off the ground the right way and use Squarespace today. 
All right, so going on to number three on this list, and that is embrace mistakes, both in business and in design. Listen, you are going to make mistakes. There are seasoned business people out there that make mistakes all the time. I always say, one of my favorite things that I always say to myself, every time I make a mistake, it's an opportunity to learn something new. It's not failure if you learn from it, right? It's not I made a mistake if you don't use it as a teachable moment. Listen, you send your pattern into a manufacturer and you get it back, I guarantee you the first draft go have a lot of mistakes in it. So all of these things are a part of that process and you have to embrace those mistakes and look at mistakes as a way for you to learn a little bit more and more importantly, gain experience. Far too many brands fail because they take failure and they think that that's it. If you say I can't do it based off of a mistake that you made or a failure that you had, then you actually failed because you quit. All right, so number one on this list, the most important thing to learn when you are starting any type of business, fashion, whatever, reps. Not plagiarism, not fakes. We're talking about putting in repetitions. We're trying to get swole, right? You gotta put in them reps, right? So if you're like a real person, you're like most people, you're not gonna have some shot in the dark chance that nobody else is gonna have. But if you put in repetitions, if you put in reps, if you work on your skills, if you do that planning process, if you get out of your head, if you learn programs, if you study and apply, study and apply, study and apply, again, copying over and over, you gotta put in the reps to become an even better designer. And who knows, you'll have this knowledge, right? You can use the knowledge that you gained to either start your own label or it may introduce you in to something else. It may introduce you to another job entirely. You might be like, yeah, I can do visual merchandising. Yeah, I can do marketing. Yeah, I can do branding. Yeah, I can do a YouTube channel about Japanese fashion that talks about the intricacies of the, bu the business of fashion in the industry. I can do that. Because you have a foundation, because you've put in reps. Many of you may have noticed, these are five things that you can apply to anything. This is designer universal. This is life universal. You could do all of these things, especially if you're a creative, you have to do these things. Copy, get out of your head, plan, embrace mistakes, and put in reps. You do those things, you'll be a better fashion designer. And going into 2021, you're going to need it if you're watching this in 2021. You're gonna need it. That's why a lot of people who complain, a lot of people who been, who gonna get in the comments, talk about, man, he ain't talking that big. Guess what? They spending too many time worrying about, they spending too much time worrying about what I'm doing and what I'm saying and not enough time working on themselves. So if you're doing that, if you're just hating, then you're not putting in reps, you're not planning, you're not doing none of that stuff, you're just complaining. Other than that, I want you guys to add anything that you need to add in the comments, right? So if you have a question, if you have some tips for anybody who's out there, if you're a person who started a brand and you've become a little bit more successful than you were before, mention your successes and tell people about it. Don't be sitting there like, yo, check out my brand, blah, 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 blah. No, I want you to tell about your experience, how it worked. Not you promoting it, the story sells. The way that you promote is by telling the story. We're gonna get into that a little bit later. But most importantly, you know what it is. Keep it locked right here for all of your info in international fashion, culture, and business from Tokyo. It's your boy, and keep it casual. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. I'll see you guys in a minute. I know I have a Band-Aid on my finger right here. I chopped myself up, you know what I'm saying? But it's okay. Ja, kyo wa koko made desu.